I haven't done a good video on economics in a while, so I'm going to do one today. Some of you may have heard of Modern Monetary Theory, or MMT. Now, it's been passed around many economic circles with some mixed reviews. Obviously, no economic theory is perfect, and MMT is no exception. However, it has been gaining some credence in some economic circles. Let me give you the general idea. MMT says that it is possible to continually print money without consequences if the issuer of the currency is controlled by the state itself. This is predominantly the case of the US, UK, Japan, or Australia. Their argument is that the money is only ever owed to themselves. So what would they do? Default on themselves? Endless amounts of money could be spent on infrastructure and other things. Now, of course, this is by no means perfect. The most obvious problem is that this is just controlling money. It's not creating new production, and this is important. This would cause inflation, debasing the currency's purchasing power. Printing more money can cause inflation, but it is not what inflation is. Now, MMT recognizes this inflationary tendency, but says it would only happen under a situation of full employment. The problem is that they have no theory as to how full employment is created. What is lacking is a theory of value. All economic theories need a theory of value, from Adam Smith, David Ricardo, John Maynard Keynes, Ludwig von Mises to Karl Marx. Everyone needs a theory of value. Here's why. Money is not value. It is a representation of value. Value is created in the production process, human labor power in Marxist terms. Others argue that value is not created by labor, but they do know there has to be a theory of value creation somewhere. If there is no production, there is no value, and thus the money is meaningless. Just printing money doesn't do anything. Productive capacity must also be created. Without there being commodities to buy and sell, money has no use. This new money is not inflationary in itself. It is only inflationary if it does not create value. If it's just held in bank vaults, i.e. hoarded, as with most of the bank bailouts in the U.S., then it threatens inflation. MMT suffers from the same ideological pitfall as Keynesianism does. It starts from recession, which is cured with state spending that will return to full employment. But what they don't have is a theory as to why this recession keeps happening. No aspect of their theory will prevent future crisis from happening because it is caused by capitalist profitability, intimately tied with the exploitation of labor. It can deal with, i.e. cure, crisis, but it doesn't know why it keeps happening or how to prevent it from happening again. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.